uh, it is a little bit longer on the bottom so that we can guarantee a sort of a segregation between you know the uh, flexion and the torsion so these two kind of uh, you know strengths are fundamental in order to comply with traction and performance right in the middle of uh, our corners this is a sporty bike and performances are the key strength uh, plenty of uh, inspirational points from MotoGP, for example, the uh, rear suspension. Now, the chassis is shorter, of course, it had to be shorter because in this case you save on weight. Now, paradoxically, it is not very important in the MotoGP because, I mean, weight has a specific limit. Uh, on the road products, of course, you have to have, uh, you know, light products. This is of uh, an utmost uh, importance and this is why we really really wanted to work so much on uh, reducing weight now back to the frame um there are many analogies uh, with the MotoGP. Uh, we have the same uh, horizontal and vertical cylinder positioning angle of the MotoGP in 2015. So maybe you remember the GP 2015. We had there the first, um, you know, uh, rear um, rotation. Now. Uh, there are plenty of novelties. Uh, we also signed some agreements with our most important partners so that we can really have some exclusivity agreements. So we have important components with fit on our product, and this is exclusive products. We have at least two new products. A new product from Brembo, the name is Stilema. This is a part of the brakes. You will find it on the Panigale before, and a rear tire developed by Pirelli, 200. 60. For the first time ever, it introduces exactly the same size that you can find in the superbikes. There are many, many other components that we have developed and we have taken down from uh, current bikes into V4. Suspensions have been changed. Please look for some information on the website. And even the rims have um, uh, been uh, redesigned in order to reduce weight. It wouldn't have been possible to obtain this result without the cooperation of major suppliers that you can see here. All of these top-notch suppliers have been working with us day and night in order to create this extraordinary object that you can see here on my left. I uh, really, really would like to thank all of our suppliers. Thank you so much for what you do with and for Ducati. Um, I know what you're thinking of. Well, you said, okay, you've shown the engine, you've shown the chassis. Uh, can we see the bike? Of course, a Pani Gale V4. Ladies and gentlemen, Panigale V4 with a secret weapon from Ducati. This is Michele Pierro. Hi, Michele. Thank you for being here. Now, Michele is the uh, secret weapon of Ducati because, I mean, he's a golden boy. But, I mean, he manages uh, to, to move from extraordinary performances in the MotoGP to the testing uh, work that he does in the MotoGP. He has helped so much our product development guys to uh, prepare and create this bike that has so many things in common with Desmo Sedi GGP. Uh, you're right, it was an incredible honor and a pleasure for me to uh, participate in the uh, development of this bike. And uh, I have to say that this is an incredible step forward. I mean, from two cylinders to four cylinders, I think this is a quantum leap forward. Uh, I have won many uh, you know, uh, uh, races with the previous bike, but this one is really, really enjoyable. I mean, it reminds me of the uh, MotoGP bikes. I have the same feeling, so I really, really think it's a, it's a bike that gives you, uh, once again, great enjoyment because it has incredible performances. 
Now, Michele, you uh, work as a tester. You come to Misano. And then fifth um, position in the MotoGP. You've won every single, you know, race but one. So you really, really deserve an extraordinary applause. So thank you so much for what you do for Ducati. Thank you. Now, Pani Gale V4, uh, well, if you will, it's the uh, well most extreme uh, idea that we have when we talk about style, sophistication, and performance. Now, style, this is self-explanatory. I mean, look at the design of the uh, uh, you know headlamp, and then the real lights, uh, the uh, dashboard, and even the surfaces. Now, sophistication, please look at the details. Um, just uh, take your time and look at the details. Uh, uh, all of them are so sophisticated. In terms of performances, I mean, V4, 214 HP, configuration Euro 4, though this is uh, once again, uh, you know, pushing the bar very high. 214 HP, this is um, extreme power level, um, in a way. You know, when Michele said it reminds me of uh, MotoGP because, of course, the power of the engine is a very important, extraordinarily important element when it comes to performances. But we've also worked so much in order to have the PR, so the performance redefined concept. In the bike, you can find plenty of you know, riding assistance systems that, in my opinion, are unique into the super sport bike. Uh, scenario. I have four key bullets I'd like to share with you. Uh, four, you know, functions that, if you will, are uh, really changing the system. So, cornering ABS when we have introduced the Scrambler 1100. Now, this bike for the first time introduces a cornering ABS. This means that uh, there's no lack of grip, even when you have a top angle. This is only front by Bosch. So, only on the front uh, wheel. This means that you can slide amid the uh, rear wheel. Dynamic slide control by Bosch. This is the system that controls the slide of the rear um, wheel. So even if you are not experienced, uh, you can really uh, use the brake on the uh, rear uh, wheel. But of course, the yaw is controlled automatically by the system. We have a slide control during acceleration together with the uh, control of the sliding of the wheel. So you also have the control of the yaw. And again, we have a new system. This means that the uh, gearbox, now the gearbox is automatically, so shift up, shift down. You have a DQS up and down. And uh, in a way, it can change its behavior when shifting up, depending on uh, you know uh, having to face a corner or not. So once again, uh, down shifting is so sweet and automatic. Once again, to cut the long story short, the 214 HP, with such a lightweight bike, well, this is really a unique opportunity. Now, I think that um, we want to, to do something very easy for riders. So we only want to offer them fun and uh, enjoyment or enjoyability, so something which is also safe and secure. Something so important was done on reducing weight, 174 kilos. This is the dry weight of this uh, Panigale V4. Uh, it's only five kilos more than Panigale V2, so this means an incredible effort was deployed. Now, if you combine the 174 dry weight kilos uh, together with the power, 214 HP, well, the ratio between weight and power is the highest you have in this type of bikes. Now, this is it. Um, I think that. Um, you now understand how the engine is, how the bike is, but we haven't seen the bike at the uh, racing track. So let's see it at the Mugello track.